Good day everybody and uh, welcome back for another video. Um, today we have another surprise sent by Kaiwitz, a digital multimeter um, HD118A and I've been testing it for a week and I have to admit I like it very much. Uh, so here's the package, uh, you have the multimeter, I'm gonna take it out, you have the owner's manual inside which uh, I didn't look through yet, <laughs> but I have a feeling that I will, as always. And in here you have some batteries for the, for the meter. This is the uh, temperature probe. And in here you have the, <coughs> the probes. So let's uh, put the batteries in and uh, test it out. Well, actually have other batteries in, but we're just gonna test it out really quick. Here we have the multimeter, very nicely built uh, with this uh, similar to rubber, <laughs> plastic rubber um, protective cover, which I found it very useful just in case you might drop it uh, on the floor. And uh, one of the things that I like the most, it has this uh, thingy that you can actually put it on the stand so you can actually uh, read the measurements that you're doing. And uh, I found this very useful many times uh, when working just because uh, in the past I had to put books underneath just so I can see the, the multimeter. And uh, yeah, I found that very useful. I had it on one of my uh, smaller multimeters, but the multimeter was so light that it was always falling down. Well, uh, one thing that I liked um, um, about the multimeter is the function for the beginners. Depending on what you're measure, measuring, it's going to show you where you have to put the probes. And I found that very useful because in the past, when I was uh, starting uh, doing uh, electronics and learning how to use the multimeter I found it a little bit confusing at times about where I should put this so great thing uh, Kaiwitz what else we have um, one useful thing is the backlight because uh, sometimes when I work in late in the evening and I only have a little light here at the desk uh, this is very useful and this double it has double functions if you hold it a little bit longer you have surprise an LED light, which is really great uh, if you're trying to read the color codes or uh, capacitor codes. Very nice. So, what do we have? We have uh, volts and uh, right now it's measuring DC voltage. If you click the functions button, it will change to AC and it's also going to show you the frequency. But uh, yeah, in here we have millivolts same thing DC and AC uh, this one I don't know exactly what it does I didn't use it so far but I'm going to have to read the manual uh, in here you have uh, resistors and with the functions button you can also change it to um, diodes in here it's measuring capacitors over here you have uh, temperature, you have Celsius degrees and uh, Fahrenheit on the bottom. Um, for this you might have to use the temperature probes if you want to be very exact. This one is measuring uh, micro amperes for DC and AC. We have uh, two different functions. Here you have milliamps, amps and non-contact voltage which is great because if you don't want to uh, if you want to measure any voltage uh, you going let's say my finger it's a <laughs> it's a wire uh, that runs uh, electricity through and uh, you're just going to, going to put the the sensor of the meter next to the wire and it's going to measure the voltage uh, passing through uh, great if you're working on electrical um, ooh, on electrical um, wiring. So uh, one great thing is this uh, switch uh, changing different functions. 
it's quite rough and I like that I know exactly that it's not going to move from one side to the other one I had an older meter that uh, it was getting stuck in between sometimes and it was not working so yeah I found it very useful uh, okay enough with the meter let's get to the probes really quick so I already showed you the temperature probes which are uh, really nice and now we are going to uh, talk about the big probes <laughs> uh, they come with protected covers over here but I'm not gonna put them in because they're quite hard to take out so I'm gonna leave them over there but in case you don't use it for quite a long time you can uh, protect them so they don't rust or corrode uh, over here the cable it's a uh, it's not very flexible, but it's uh, it's all right. It's um, it's tough. Um, these are the probes. They also come with protective covers over here, which are really great. Just in case you don't want to touch other things around, I usually use them without them. But uh, at times, I found the protective covers very useful. Uh, now these are rated to one thousand volts. I don't think I'm gonna have to measure anything around 1000 volts but you never know so let's do some quick measurements um, I have this one on uh, resistors so I'm going to measure this one it's supposed to be a 150 ohms resistor and it's showing me 149.3 now I believe the resistor may not be quite exact but it's quite close but I have to show you another thing and also teach you a lesson why we're actually doing a product review, sort of. Uh, and it's about chip capacitors. So I purchased these chip capacitors many times, uh, thinking that I made a great deal and I have a lot of capacitors to use in my circuits. And uh, especially when using them in resonant circuits, you might actually realize that knowing the a proper value of the capacitor it's a good thing and that's why I found this uh, meter very useful because I realized that my 68 picofarads capacitor has only 50 picofarads <laughs> and I also measured um, capacitors that uh, they were supposed to be a hundred picofarads but in reality they were 140 or 70 picofarads so far away from 100 picofarads and uh, yeah, having a great multimeter that's doing exact measurements, it's important. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I found this very, very useful. Uh, I, I actually tested it uh, with some resistors that uh, I know they have uh, proper values. I'm not gonna waste your time watching my test, but uh, it's quite accurate to be honest. Um, I'm impressed, so yeah, this will be one of the things that I will definitely use uh, every day working on my uh, uh, radio circuits. So I have to say again, thank you Kaiwitz for uh, one more beautiful present <laughs> and very useful. I feel that uh, uh, people at Kaiwitz uh, are looking through my desk to see what tools I'm missing <laughs> and they're sending me uh, these uh, tools uh, that I can uh, test and use. So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy, very pleased with this one, with the way it works. So, uh, what can I say? I'm expecting that my circuits will be a lot better from now on because I'm using exact measurements. And I learned my lesson with the capacitors as well. So I have to measure everything right now just to make sure I have the right values. But uh, yeah, really beautiful product. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with it. So uh, definitely a recommendation. I'll have a link down below um, if you wanna buy one. It's uh, an affiliate link, of course. But, by the way, if you want 15% uh, off, you can use the code DX15 and you get 15% uh, discount on any uh, Kaiwitz products uh, that you want to purchase. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great deal. I'm, I'm really happy and pleased with it. So um, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, 73.